I am very sorry if I disturbed any of you. I will not do that again. Um, hopefully, at least. Hey there, everybody. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I am here to review War for the Planet of the Apes. War for the Planet of the Apes is directed by Matt Reeves, who also directed Dawn of the Planet of the Apes, and the film stars Andy Serkis and Woody Harrelson. And I don't want to give too much of the plot synopsis for War for the Planet of the Apes, so all I'm going to say is there is a war happening between the apes and the humans because the humans are out to kill any remaining ape that is out there but of course Caesar and the other apes don't want that to happen so it's up to them to fight the humans and hopes that their species can stay on this planet so I was very excited for war from the planet of the apes because I did love rise and I love dawn which I do think is better than rise how did I feel about War for the Planet of the Apes? I can honestly truly say that War for the Planet of the Apes lives up to the hype. In my opinion, of course, I do feel it lives up to the hype. War for the Planet of the Apes honestly just took my breath away. This movie is truly amazing. I'm going to talk about Andy Serkis first because this guy has been portraying Caesar since Rise. And with each film, he continues to just impress me more and more. Just when I didn't think he could get any more impressive, the guy somehow just surprises me with how unbelievably great he is with his motion capture. Seriously, Andy Serkis really is one of the best motion capturers, if that's a word, out there. If not, maybe even the best. He might actually even be the best motion capturer out there. This guy knows how to convey emotions. When you see a tear coming out of Caesar, you can't help but be blown away. Just how Andy Serkis portrayed him was so great. Uh, Caesar as a character just continues to grow and grow. He honestly has one of the best character arcs I've ever seen. In fact, you could have a triple feature from Rise to Dawn to War and you can see how much this character has progressed since Rise. And it's truly unbelievable when you look back at Rise. One of the things these movies have done a good job of showing is that he's not perfect. He is not a perfect ape, just like with the normal human being. He does have flaws. However, especially in this film, Caesar is aware that he's not perfect. He's aware that he's made mistakes, and he's made mistakes in this film. But you could see his reasonings. Like you may not agree with the choices he makes, but you can understand his reasons for why he did this, why he did that. Because he was doing something he felt was right. Even though in reality it was wrong, but he was doing something he felt was right. And as far as the other apes, the other apes, the other motion captures from these other actors are truly just something to behold. Judy Greer obviously does a great job with her motion capture. And then you have Steve Zahn. Yes, that's right. Steve Zahn is in this film as Bad Ape. And oh my goodness, Bad Ape is funny. And it's a very nice way to add some light to the film because when the film gets very dark and depressing, you do have Bad Ape to add some of that light. I thought he was so great as a character. He's not great as just being, oh, I'm that guy, I'm that ape that says funny things or does funny things. No, he is actually genuinely a great character that I did really get behind. And obviously the other apes, I love following them. I'm honestly attached to all of these apes. And when you can make me feel very attached to these apes, you know you've created such great characters. Not just a great movie, but just great, great characters. And I just have to talk about the visuals. Wow. Somehow the visuals in these films get better and better. I don't know how. I really don't know how. But the visuals in War for the Planet of the Apes are truly spec. It really takes my breath away just looking at these visuals. This is some of the best use of special effects I've ever seen in a major blockbuster. You can do a lot with technology, 
but it's hard to believe you can make the apes look this real and yet they look so realistic it's hard to believe that actual humans are doing the motion capture for these apes because it really doesn't feel like actors are portraying them. It does feel like they somehow trained all these apes to do this stuff, but that's not the case. And that's credit to the visual effects team. And I have to give a lot of credit to the screenplay too, because not only was I just really, really invested with the storytelling throughout War for the Planet of the Apes, I should say definitely it is different from the other films, which is good. Uh, nothing felt rehashed in this, so I should definitely give the film credit for that too. It doesn't feel like it's rehashing anything from the first two films. It's definitely a new chapter that is concluding this uh, trilogy that leads up to, like, you know, the original Planet of the Apes films. But the storytelling here was really beautifully crafted, and the screenplay itself, when you're listening to these characters talk, just had me incredibly engaged. The dialogue in this film does not feel forced. That same thing does go to Bad Ape, who could have easily come off as forced, but he doesn't, at least for me, he doesn't. And when you hear Caesar talk, or when you hear Bad Ape talk, of course, the Colonel, played by Woody Harrelson, which I'll get to him in a little bit, uh, they all feel very natural. The dialogue all around, I think it's just really beautifully written. And you even do get some moments where characters aren't talking, like it's just music playing. And it's beautiful. I have to say this right now. Michael Giacchino's score is beautiful in this film. It really did fit the atmosphere that Matt Reeves is creating. My goodness, Michael Giacchino's score uh, almost makes me want to cry because it's so poetic when you listen to that score. It is so breathtaking. And man, especially when you hear in the end credits, like when the movie just rolls and you just see the end credits, you're just going, wow, Giacchino. Like Giacchino is one of the best music composers, but War for the Planet of the Apes, without a doubt, is one of the best scores that Giochino has composed. And since I just brought up Matt Reeves, Matt Reeves did a truly phenomenal job directing War for the Planet of the Apes. This is one of the best directed movies of 2017. I really, really mean that. The world building here is something to really praise him for. Also, the action sequences, which I will say up front that War does not have as many action sequences as Dawn does. Dawn definitely has the most action in this trilogy. But when War did have action sequences, oh man, my heart was pounding. And honestly, it just shows that Matt Reeves is one of the best directors when it comes to directing action. He knows how to keep the camera still. He knows how to really put you in there with the apes and the humans. I was really feeling the tension. Like this movie opens with an action scene and already one minute into war, my heart was just pounding. The tension here is real with this film. But just in general how he directs this film, I thought he did a really amazing job at it. Although this is a slow burner, this film does take its time. I actually was not really bored. Uh, of course, aside from maybe just a few moments, which I'll get to a little later, I truly was so riveted by what was happening on screen. And the cinematography is something I have to bring up because the cinematography in war is beautiful. It is incredible. There were actually moments in war where my jaw dropped because the cinematography, like I've been saying for really the entire movie, it took my breath away, especially when they're out in the snow. When they are out in the snow. Oh, my God. It leaves me speechless when I look at the cinematography. Like, I can't think of a bigger word than incredible or phenomenal. Like, I kind of wish there was a bigger word than that. It is just truly 
um, masterfully uh, well done. It's just beautifully well shot. Nothing cinematography wise fell out of place. Every single shot mattered at war. And that's what I loved about it. And when we do get to the human side of war, that's where I was definitely very impressed with it. I know people have had certain criticisms about not really connecting with the other humans. I actually did really like the humans, believe it or not. Yes, are they as strong as the apes? No, I can clearly see that, but I did uh, really get behind the humans with the other films, and I could definitely say that's the same with War, except the humans are at their best, particularly with the Colonel, played by Woody Harrelson, which I have to say, Woody Harrelson gives one of his best performances in his entire career. My goodness, Woody Harrelson went all out as the Colonel. And of course, there is a scene between Caesar and the Colonel, and the Colonel is explaining to Caesar why he and his people are out after the apes. And when you hear the Colonel telling Caesar all of this stuff, you actually get a really great understanding. Yes, you may not agree, um, but you can actually see where he's coming from. And that's when I think you know you've made a truly strong antagonist. And when you just hear the Colonel's story and what he's went through and his losses and all that, you actually can't help but feel bad for him, despite the fact he is doing cruel things to these apes. The antagonist is absolutely just as strong as the apes are and just the movie in general. Just as, as far as the storytelling and the cinematography and the editing too, the editing is truly spectacular here. I can safely say the antagonist does not disappoint with this film. When it comes to the humans, that little girl, man, that little girl gives truly one of the strongest child performances of not only 2017, but just ever. I don't know the actress's name, but I did think this actress did such a wonderful job playing this character. I'm not going to say what her role is in particular, but all I'm going to say is that she does do a very beautiful job, and she even does have a heartwarming friendship, particularly with one of the apes. Um, that's all I'm going to say. That's the thing about war. I loved how even when, yes, this film can get dark and depressing, there's also that blend of it. Also, yeah, being light and just being genuinely sweet. This film, at times, really can be just genuinely sweet, and I really appreciated that. And without spoiling anything, how War for the Pie of the Apes wrapped up everything to a nice little bow that does lead to the original Pie of the Apes films. Wow, that was a great way to end this movie and just wrap up this entire trilogy. Please do not make a fourth one. Do not make a fourth one. Because where they ended with this film, I honestly can't say was truly perfect. Definitely, this film does a great job of giving me this big emotional impact. It was what I was hoping for when I went to it. And coming out of it, yep, I got pretty emotional. That's for sure. As far as criticisms do go with War for the Planet of the Apes, I will say, I know this film is called War for the Planet of the Apes, and I know I've been hearing arguments about how it's about the internal war, how it's about maybe Caesar having the war inside him, he's battling his inner demons, which is a good way to look at it. But with Don setting up this war, like it was really heavy on setting up this war that was gonna lead to this film, I was just expecting a war. I'm not I wasn't expecting it from beginning to end. I thought maybe say maybe like the last 30 minutes could have been like a gigantic war between the war and the humans. And you don't really get that. You got a little bit of it in the finale, but it wasn't really all that major. And it wasn't really a war, it was kind of more like a battle, I guess. So yeah, I didn't quite get the war that Don was setting this movie up to be. However, However, I can say that's pretty forgivable because of how much I still, well, obviously loved War. And this is not too big of a criticism, but just two or three parts in this film 
drag just a little bit just a little bit and when it does drag a little bit it picks up so it's not like it dragged for too long but there were those two or three moments in war where I'm like okay yeah it's dragging just a little bit and that's it that's it for flaws honestly overall war for the planet of the apes is a near perfect conclusion to this planet of the apes trilogy the dramatic moments were very well executed the action when it is there was very exciting and quite scary too matt reeves does a truly masterful job directing this film the cinematography is beautiful the score by michael giacchino is beautiful the screenplay is brilliant and honestly for a film that was a slow burner besides those few moments I actually found myself really riveted for the more for the more slower paced moments I do think it is a near masterpiece and because of that War for the Planet of the Apes is going to get four out of four stars everybody in the comments down below let me know what did you think about war for the planet of the apes did it live up to your expectations were you very let down by this film because I know there were people out there that were actually disappointed in this film and let me know what has been your favorite in this trilogy was it rise was it dawn or was it war this is 22 tiger dude here and don't forget that I will always have tiger power